For my daughter is here, Slivova Galina. She lives here. We didn't get it, you know. We personally didn't get it. I'm explaining to you. Wait at the door. They will call Slivova for you. I'm just coming from the train station. My dear citizen, you did not understand me. Meetings are allowed only off the grounds of the dormitory. They just don't get it. Людмила Афинасина Звернорвна. And this is Comrade Rabinin, Sergei Georgievich. Nice to meet you. Звонарева. So, what we did do again? I would like to ask you several questions, and if possible not here. Comrade Superintendent, my daughter, Galina Slivlova, lives here. She lives here, but they won't allow me in. Let her in. I don't see any reason to break the rules. Let her in until 23 hours. I'm obeying. Let's go. Show your documents, please. Do you have wine or some home-brewed liquors? Excuse me, smoking is prohibited here. How can I help you? Rukayatkina, Alexandra Gavrilovla, I live here. I see. Rukayatkina doesn't live here anymore. From today on, her temporary housing permit is suspended, and probably dismissal from the factory will follow soon. Excuse me, wait a minute. Why is it su suspended? Why is she dismissed? Excuse me, did I get something wrong? Who are you? A police investigator, Rabinin Sergei Georgievich. Here's my ID. So, now you have an answer for all your questions. I would like to mention that we did not give you any directives about dismissal or deportation, which, by the way, we couldn't even give. We don't need any. We ourselves understand everything perfectly, especially given some experience. We are dismissing people automatically for much lesser charges, and here is much more serious. Or I am wrong. Am I wrong? How many years will she get? First of all, it is decided by the court. Secondly, Rukayatkina is only detained. Do you think I'm so naive? The person has been arrested. She's being examined by the prosecutor's office. She wasn't called for beauty pageant, was she? Smoking is prohibited here, I'm sorry. What if we asked you to give a reference letter for Rukayatkina? What kind of reference? Say an ordinary one. I understand what kind. A negative one or, or an objective one. Okay, I will tell the teacher to do it. The one at the door or Karmazin. There are three of them and all of them perform their duties. I would like to see the room where Rukayatkina lives, or more precisely, used to live. No. Why? I need to have a look at the room and speak to her friends. It is not allowed. The girls must rest, change their clothes, and generally, men are not allowed in our dormitory. What about the teacher? He's working here. You know, I am not here for a walk either. I have to inspect the room, speak with roommates, and there is no law that prohibits my doing it. I will call them here for you. No, you will go there. More precisely, you will accompany me, and I will do the speaking myself. Well, okay. We'll do as you wish. I don't care. The impersonal character of bureaucracy was not considered to pertain only when dealing with individuals. The object of impersonal treatment could have been whole classes of people, nationalities, or ethnic groups. In a surrealistic and symbolic retelling of the Russian classic, A History of Certain Town, director Sergei Ovcharov superimposed the satiric history of the provincial Russian town of the 18th century onto the 70 year history of the Soviet Union. This particular episode tries to convey the message of the menacing impersonality of the bureaucratic system primarily through visual means, enhancing the alienated character of the events by using a modern, computer generated score, imitating the newsreel style of the 1940s. This surrealistic episode refers to a peculiar Soviet experience and shows how the stone-faced bureaucrats, in three-piece suits and axes in their hands, destroyed villages, managed the whole country as a labor camp, erected gigantic industrial and public works projects, literally on the blood and flesh of the workers, 
and continued to lead people to inevitable doom.